Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, uh, short video on uh, a demo about VMware SD-WAN and SASE. My name is Jay Tontakudi and I'm excited to share with you a new entry or a new uh, part, a component of our solution called SD-WAN Client which complements our existing SD-WAN solution. And like uh, our broader portfolio, our objective with SD-WAN is to connect any user located anywhere to uh, the multi-cloud applications. And with the SD-WAN client, we are able to bring a software-only solution that is hosted in the cloud to connect users that could be at home, could be on the move, or it could, they could also be in the office, but give them a superior user experience when they connect to these applications. And at the same time, put some time back on IT team's clock with uh, simplicity in deploying and managing the solution, providing a better performance for better user experience, being able to scale the solution because it is cloud-hosted, and built on the principles of zero trust. But before I go, go into the specifics of that, just a quick note here, as you see in the picture, we show the SD-WAN Edge, which is a hardware-based solution that is used in home offices by some of the power users like radiologists and uh, customer service representatives. But we also have the secure access solution that works very well with our digital workspace portfolio. So let me go into the details of the solution now. What you see here is a dashboard that is uh, commonly used by the IT admins. This, they could be desktop uh, management team, they could be security teams, or they could also be networking teams. They get an instant view of the status of all their remote users as they connect to applications. So for example, here they get a view on the map of where all their remote users are. They also get to see what is the throughput or the number of connections that are there and the amount of bytes that are transferred between users and their applications. But equally important, they're able to take a look at all the different active networks that they see here. And the idea behind the active network is to provide a very easy way to create a, to create a segmented private access for uh, communities of interest that can talk to each other. Communities of interest can be IoT devices and the admins who manage those devices. It could be users who are located in a particular uh, country uh, it could be human resource, finance. So it's very easy to create all these communities using segmented networks. But it's not just limited to connectivity. What I'll go into is details on using policies that can tighten the security posture when these users communicate with each other. So let me just jump into that part of the solution. Here, here is an example of what we call a contextual access that is made possible with our solution. What you see is our ability to create the segmented network it can be a hub and spoke topology, like many IoT devices that are in different locations, communicating with their applications that could be located in the data center or in the cloud. It could be users that want to communicate with each other, like a peer-to-peer -peer communication. Mix and match topologies are all possible to simplify the options that are available to IT teams. So they can choose to create a network using hub and spoke or mesh. We not only provide the ability to specify what protocols are in use when this communication takes place, but we also provide rules as to what exactly are the port numbers that can be in play when that communication goes through. But it is not just limited to this. What you see is we have contextual parameters that say who can communicate with whom, at what time of the day, which day of the week, from what location. So the principles of zero trust, as you can see, start really building up with this solution. So you are able to now move away from the legacy VPN solutions that provide limited capabilities when it comes to security to a more scalable and a tighter security posture-based solution that we have with, with, with us today. I'm going to give a quick glimpse of what this means when a user is communicating with another user. What you'll notice here is this user, as a, by policy, is able to communicate with another user but there is no visibility to any other application or any other user in the network. And that's exactly what we want with the modern remote access solution. Users are given access only to those applications they are entitled to and nothing more. And that's exactly what you get. And it is shown with a very sim simple depiction here. So the IT admins are able to determine whether by policy they have done the right thing by giving access only to those applications in a very easy format. So before I uh, get to the IoT solution piece, just a quick view here, again for the IT admins. They can zero down to see if there have been attempts made by users to get access to applications that they are not supposed to have access to. 
So they can look at the number of blocked attempts. They can see who are the users who have been trying to get access to applications. Maybe they legit legitimately or they are supposed to be entitled to those applications, but they don't have access. Maybe they are not supposed to be entitled. So it gives IT admins a way to actually investigate this a little bit further using this dashboard. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, we not only provide access to remote users, but we also provide a secure connectivity to IoT devices. These could be um, uh, robotics uh, in, uh, in uh, manufacturing facilities. It could be kiosks in point of sale systems. This could be security cameras that are in use in traffic monitoring systems. The idea is to ensure that these devices are secure as they don't have users sitting behind them. So the ability to ensure a secure encrypted end-to-end -end connection while maintaining a controlled access is uh, a significant use in those use cases. So the bottom line with our solution with SD-WAN client is it is simple to deploy, it is easy to manage, it provides uh, security built on the principles of zero trust, and it gives better performance with path optimization capabilities that is completely unparalleled, and it delivers a rich user experience in the process. So benefits both to the IT admins who manage the solution and also to the end users who are able to take advantage of this solution.